My name is Tanya Israel, and I'm a faculty member at UC Santa Barbara in uh, Counseling, Clinical, and School Psychology. And I'm going to be talking about bisexuality in a gender non-binary world, research, revolution, and resolution. Keeping it simple. Uh, so <laughs> there's this debate uh, that's been going on. There's this critique of bisexuality that says because bi means two, bisexuality implies that there are only two sexes. And you can see, uh, you can actually buy this button that supports the idea that bisexuality is an emotional and physical attraction to both sexes. Both sexes, meaning women and men. Uh, meaning that there are only two options. And so calling oneself bisexual reifies or makes real, solidifies uh, binary gender. And this critique of bisexuality has been articulated by transgender people, gender non-binary people, um, and uh, people who are attracted to more than one gender who use an identity label other than bisexual. And so bisexual people respond by saying, that's not what bisexuality means to me. Uh, when I say I'm bisexual, it means attraction to more than one gender. And that can mean attraction to my own and another gender, or my own and other genders. Not necessarily defined as men and women. Some people adopt a uh, bisexual identity to mean gender is not the most important characteristic to define my attractions. Bisexual activists point out that bisexual people have been strong allies of transgender people. So when I adopted a bisexual identity 20 years ago at this conference, um, it was affirming and supportive. It gave me a way to say, not just men, not just women. But as an ally of transgender and gender non-binary people, I need to ask the question, is my affirmation your marginalization? I'm a researcher. So I wonder if there's a role for research to move this debate forward. Are there data that can offer guidance? Can we develop an evidence-based identity and activism? So there's research that demonstrates that bisexuality has a wide range of meanings to people who use that identity. Uh, what we don't know is whether bisexual people embrace or reject gender binary. Saying you're attracted to women and men doesn't indicate whether you think there are other options. Saying gender isn't your priority for attraction uh, doesn't say whether you think gender is binary. But we also know that, uh, we, we also don't know what lesbian, gay, and heterosexual people think about non-binary gender. So maybe it would be helpful to clarify what bisexual people think about non-binary gender and what they intend their sexual orientation identity label to say about gender. But we'll want to know more than intention. Uh, we'll want to know about impact. Microaggressions are often unintentional, and yet they have considerable impact on mental health, feelings of inclusion or exclusion, interpersonal fissures. So, we don't know the extent to which people identifying as bisexual is experienced by transgender and gender non-binary people as a microaggression and what kind of impact that might have. We may also want to know the impact of using bisexual identity labels on all people, not only those who are gender non-binary. So what do I mean? Well, remember the generic he uh, so when we used to use the term he to mean men and women, I objected. Uh, maybe no one was trying to be sexist by using the generic he. No one was trying to exclude women. But there's actually a study that shows that using the term he in a generic sense evokes mm -hmm. images of uh, men disproportionate to images of women. Uh, it was not generic. He meant he, not he and she. Language does matter, and it affects us. So we might 
want to know whether the term bisexual evokes images or concepts of gender binary, and does it do so in a way that other sexual orientation identity labels do not? So these are all questions that I have as a researcher that I think maybe these will help us to move the conversation forward. So that's research, revolution. <laughs> the idea that you can be attracted to more than one gender is revolutionary. It challenges the assumptions that gender is our most defining characteristic and that men and women are opposites. The idea that there are more than two genders is revolutionary. Bise both bisexuality and non-binary genders are tools that can help us to be free from limited, dualistic, patriarchal notions of gender. How can we celebrate both revolutionary ideas? How can we not pit one against the other? Resolution. Is there a way, maybe, of describing our sexual orientation that, in a way that is not intertwined with our concepts of gender? If bi implies two genders, we need something that can say, gender is more than two. It's infinite. It's complex. More than two. Complex. Infinite. Not by, but pi. <laughs> yes, pi. 3.1415, blah, 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 on into infinity. More than two, infinite, complex. Not bisexual, but pisexual. Pisexual, what could that mean? Pisexual, one who embraces the idea that gender is non-binary and who believes that there are more than two ways of identifying and expressing gender. And identifying as bisexual would not necessarily mean you need to give up your sexual orientation identity label. As a bisexual bisexual, I might say gender is not the most important characteristic in determining my attractions. And I believe gender is non-binary. You could even be a heterosexual bisexual. You might say, I identify as a woman who is exclusively attracted to people who identify as men. And I recognize that those are only two of the many possible gender identities. So we can all embrace bisexuality. We can connect across sexual orientations and celebrate the infinite possibilities of gender. But when will we do this? When will we celebrate bisexuality? On March 14th, Pi Day, 314. <laughs> and the very first Pi Sexual Awareness Day will be this year, 31415. <laughs> And we will eat pie-themed pies. And we will make gender non-binary pie charts. And blogs and memes and songs and flash mobs. And we may be a small slice of the pie now. But our movement will grow until most people recognize that gender is non-binary until bisexuality will be the norm. And so, I call on you, no matter what your sexual orientation, identity label, to speak out against the limitations of binary gender, to embrace the wide and wonderful range of gender identities and expressions. Bisexuals <coughs> of the world, unite. Thank <laughs> you.